all. You like it? Are you kidding? It's like a mansion on water. I think I counted 50 crew members on the way down here. You don't think it's a bit much? No, I'm just blown away by everything. So you do like it? I love it. I love it. Good. Because I want you to have the perfect honeymoon. It already has been perfect. You know, you haven't seen the rest of the yacht. You know, there's still the swimming pool and... And then there's the dining room. And you haven't seen the speedboats in case you want to go water skiing. I'd like to do some exploring. You would. Exploring. Well, you know, the chef has been slaving away all morning preparing a seven-course meal for us, you know, when, whenever we're, we're ready. You don't want to keep him waiting. No, we wouldn't want to keep him waiting. It's like every paradise you've ever heard of. And a bunch I haven't. The most world-renowned chefs on board. And performers are being flown every night to do shows for them. Sources say that the prince has requested that most of the time the couple wants to feel like they're the only ones on board. And the majority of the stops they are making are only to remote beaches so they can be alone. Oh, it is so romantic. It really is a fairy tale come true. Yes, it is. I just wish my brother and Cassie didn't have that black cloud hanging over them. You mean about Cassie maybe not being able to have kids? Hmm. I know how much Richard wants another child. And it's imperative that he produce an heir for the country. I don't know what they'll do if Cassie can't. Well, but maybe she can. I mean, it isn't for sure anything. No, yes, of course, you're right. We must be optimistic. Wouldn't it be great if she got pregnant on their honeymoon? Mm. Oh, it would be the perfect end to the fairy tale. <laughs> Excuse me, Miss Jenny. Yes? You have a phone call? For me? Yes. All right. Um, I'll, I'll be right back. I have a much better ending in mind for Richard and Cassie, Jenny. still a family anymore because we never we never were because this whole thing was just a, a lie everything was a lie <laughs> i knew that we couldn't trust but i knew it from the start i knew no no Susan, we... listen don't don't do this don't you and beth just started to get close you you even told me that yourself well that was that was before gosh i see her i see her so much i see her Pretty, uh, fancy place to have breakfast. What did we win the lottery or something? <laughs> you know, no, we didn't win the lottery. But I, I do have to talk to you, Susan. That's very important. Um. Oh, Dad, um, I was going to tell you about that job thing. That, um. No, you know what? We'll, we'll deal with the job search. No, look, I know, I, I know how much you love teaching. And since Beth ruined everything for you Susan, here. Susan. So I thought it would be a good idea so you could just leave everything here and you wouldn't have to deal with Beth or that baby. Because he's not mine. Um, Dad, listen. look. I just thought it was a good idea for you to leave all the stuff that was hurting you. I, I didn't do it to be near Max, if that's what no, you're thinking. No, I know you don't. I, know. Swear. I know you didn't. I know that. Look, but if we just moved, uh, we, we could start over, you know? And I think it could be good for both of us. I'm glad you said that, because actually I've been thinking about the same thing, about leaving Springfield. To go to New York? Well, that, is so cool. New York, honey, that... that is so cool! That is so great! She... I knew you love the idea. She... What... That is what... so wonderful! But I think we might... Hi! Would you like to hear the breakfast specials? Yes, yeah, we would, definitely. We're celebrating. <sighs> I saw you on TV, Dad. You did? It was so cool, and I saw... It. Tammy and Cassie and Harley. I'm glad you thought it was cool, honey, because I brought you back a little piece of the wedding. Oh, my gosh. Did you bring back my little brother one, too? Of course I did. I brought back both your little brothers a present. Because I love you very much and I missed you. Thank you. We love you, too. Good. Good. You want to do me a favor? You want to take the baby up as present? You mean it? Sure. 
Why don't you do that? You go and take it up to him, and I'll be up in a minute, okay? Okay. Something wrong? No, no. Sure seems like it is. No, um, actually, I, I have some great news. Jim and I talked. Oh. Yeah. I mean, it's not perfect, but, um, we're going to try to make a go of it. You're going to get back together? Wow. Uh, I, I thought you'd be happy about that. I am. I am. I am. I'm just, uh... Surprised. Yeah. Yes. Uh, yeah, I saw my actually, but um, it happened. <laughs> well, that's great. That's great. I'm I'm happy for you. Yeah. Uh, there is there is one one more thing I have to talk to you about. Um, see, Jim and I have decided in order to really make this work. Well, we need to leave Springfield. Absolutely not. Philip, Philip, Jim and I have a chance, but it is a very small chance to save our marriage. I, I thought that this is what you wanted. Not for like us. this. No way. No, no this is way. The only way. Think about it. Think about how hard this is for Jim. I don't give a damn how hard it is for Jim. You're not leaving town. Yes, no, yes, yes, you're yes. not. You are not taking my children away from me, and that's final. said all we have to say yesterday. Please. It'll just take a moment of your time. That's all I have. With Prince Richard out of the country, I'm very busy. That's what I wanted to talk to you about. I overreacted last night when I was informed that you, not I, would be in charge during my brother's absence. You should have expected it. Yes, I know, and I want to apologize for taking my frustrations out on you. I suppose it is frustrating. But you understand why your brother made the decision he did? Yes. And it was foolish of me to think otherwise, given what I've done. Dax, I've been working very hard to regain my brother's trust, and... It's just so frustrating not really ever having the chance to prove to Richard that I can be trusted again, that I can be of use to him. Especially now. What do you mean by that? Well, the problems facing the country, Dax, real problems. <laughs> Actually, optimism has never been higher. Thank you. And if there are any concerns that arise, they'll be handled by Prince Richard? Well, I know the people in a state of euphoria over the royal wedding, but do you really think that can be sustained, considering? Uh, what are you talking about? Well, Dax... I know about Cassie. What? You mean you don't know? No what? I'm surprised Richard didn't tell you. You're one of his closest advisors. No what? Well, there's a chance. There's a very real chance that Cassie may not be able to get pregnant. I don't know what the medical condition is, but the fact remains that she may not be able to produce an heir. I can't believe this. Why would he not confide something so important to me? Well, I suspect 
that he anticipated your reaction would be much like mine, that he made a mistake marrying Cassie, a mistake that could prove fatal to the monarchy. Sorry, Your Highness. Oh. <laughs> that, that's quite all right. Yeah, come in. Eh? As a matter of fact, you're quite likely to catch us kissing each other a lot on this honeymoon. This is the last of your luggage. When you go topside, uh, I'll unpack for you. Oh, thank you. Uh, my makeup bag isn't here. Are you sure this is it? Because I know I, I I know I packed it. So I'll make sure that it's found. I will take personal responsibility. I didn't mean to scare him like that. I, I just was a little confused about where my luggage was. so mean. Uh, <laughs> You're likely to get that reaction quite a lot now. Oh, I know. I just have to get used to people treating me so... Um, Royally? Importantly. But you are important. You know what I mean. All this protocol stuff, I'm still working on it. Well, don't worry about it. It's not important. No, it is. It is important. And, but that's okay. I just don't want some poor guy to think that his job's on the line because I'm not happy with something. But I can do this. Mm. What's that? Be a princess. And still be me. Well, that's good. Because you're the person I married. You know, I think I need some practice on ordering people around. Really? Your wish is my command. You make love to me. Now. Besides, I have to testify against this bill for Congress. I mean, if it goes through, then disabled people won't be able to afford things like cochlear implants. Fine, but I'm still going to miss you. I'm going to miss you, too. <laughs> you know what? You know how much I want you to have it all, Abby? Really? Yes. Can you know, to be my wife, to be the mother of our children, and to do the things that are important to you, like fighting this bill. Thank you, sweetheart. I really appreciate you being so supportive. Well... I'm still going to miss you. <laughs> I'm going to, too. But you know what? What? Maybe we don't have to say goodbye. What do you mean? Well, maybe you could come with me and we could have a mini vacation. What kind of mini vacation? Well, I won't have to work the whole time I'm there. I mean, we could go see the sights and we could go to all the restaurants. And I know that you would love Washington just as much as I do. As a place to visit or a place to live? Sweetheart, you really want me to fall in love with Washington because you want a job there. The job that you turned down because it was going to get in the way of us starting a family? That's not the way I meant it. Abby, I thought we were together on this. What's going on? You don't want to move into the city directly. I mean, we could just go someplace in the, kind of the suburbs outside the city, like New well, Jersey okay. or Connecticut. This, this, or... Is, this isn't about just moving. What you just said. Well, it's actually, it's about more than just moving. I, like, don't get me wrong. I, I think we need a new start, and I, that's very important to me. That's good. That's but, great. Uh, I'm not done yet. I'm not done. Oh, boy, this is, this is probably going to be kind of tough for you to understand at first, but... Honey, in life, there are things that are worth pushing past your your, your pride and, and your anger and, and your hurt for. Like family and love, okay? And... Wait, hold on. I don't see how this has to do with anything about us moving or starting someplace new. Well, the fact is that I want all of us to have a new start. All of us. Babe, I talked to Beth, 
and we're going to try to work things out. No, no, just listen. Listen to me, Susie. Hear me out. Hear me out. Listen, I, I no. believe that this Dad, family is worth we not We don't have a on. family. We can, Susan. We can have everything that we had before. No, Dad, no. Susan. Listen, I know it's going to take a lot. And I think that getting out of Springfield is going to be a good start. But when we leave, it's going to be all of us, babe. It's going to be me, you, Lizzie, Beth, and our baby. Your baby? Uh, it's not your baby. We can have a family again. No. We can have a whole new start in life. No, I'm not going. Hear me, hear me, hear me out, please. The day that you said I could raise this child with Jim, that was a wonderful, generous, and selfless thing that you did. But I understand now that this baby is born, you want to be a part of his life. I understand that. I told you I wanted you to be a part of okay, his life. Okay, well then why are we talking about you moving? Why are we talking about you taking Let my children finish. and... Let me finish. Okay. Okay. Go ahead. Everyone in town knows that you're this baby's father. Or if they don't... They very soon will. I don't care what people say. But you care about Harlan. I care about Jim. We both care about these children. Think of the talk. Think. Think uh, of the strain that we'll all be under. We will work it out. Leaving is not the answer. Leaving is not an option. I I'm not talking about the other end of the earth. I'm talking about Chicago. That's not that the was point. An hour on that the is phone. not the yes, point. It is the point. No, it isn't. you still have access to your no, children. No, no, Beth. Visiting my children in another city is not what You're I not call going access. You're not to lose your children. Where, on the other hand, if you tell me that I can't leave, that I will lose the family that I'm trying to Well, I'm to sorry, because that's what I'm telling you, because you're not taking my kids away Philip, from me. Philip, I am no, you're taking not. Lizzie needs me. Lizzie needs a family, and this baby needs a family, and you're not taking that away from us. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have said anything. Richard obviously didn't want you to know. The whole of San Cristobal rests on this. He had no right to keep it from me. It, it, it's, 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 it's irresponsible. It's, 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 it's tragic. Yes, I know. You know my brother. He's not as realistic as some of us are. He still thinks love can conquer all. This isn't about love. It's about sustaining a monarchy. I'm the one who told him he had to find a bride to do that. I know. How could he disregard something of such national importance? How could he consider Cassie... Ah, now you know. Now you understand why I was in opposition to Cassie when he declared his intentions. Why I... Why I did some of the things I did. Dax. I like Cassie. She's a perfectly nice girl. But I found out about... About her maybe not being able to produce an heir for Richard, I couldn't just ignore it. You had several reasons to oppose, Cassie. All attributable to your ambitions. Or to my love for my country. <laughs> oh, yes. I'm not against Richard, Dax. I do love my brother. I just have opposed his judgments. Oh, please. I imagine you had your own concerns about Cassie prior to this news. I've... I've overcome those with her a long time ago. Yes, but this is more serious, isn't it? It's something that, if true, cannot be fixed as a past issues could be. If true. All right. All right. I understand that you don't trust me. But just because I'm the one telling you this doesn't make it any less of a reality. about that. After I speak to Richard, we'll see. you've given me. I just want to live up to it. I want to live up to you. You do, Cassie. You do. We're perfect together. I know. And I know how connected we are. 
And I know how strong our love is. It goes beyond that. It really does. I can't explain it. You know, we've come a long way from an arrangement. Yes, we certainly have. just said you keep going back and forth on this you know first you you turn down the job and tell me you're committed to starting a family and then and then you run into joe morgan at the hospital and suddenly you want to pick up and, and move to washington dc and and last night i was convinced you wanted to start a family abby and now i, I don't know i didn't mean to be so confusing i'm sorry abby i i think you're confused because i don't think this is a simple solution for you I mean, it's just that last night, after the talk that we had, after finally making love, after such a long period of time, I thought you were really to, ready to start a family. Yeah, it, you weren't avoiding getting pregnant, certainly. I, I, I know that you're conflicted about this. It's obvious. You, you're trying so hard to make me happy, but at the same time, I know you want this job in, in, in Washington. All I'm asking is that you just think about what's on your heart and just tell me, that's all. I... shouldn't... I'll try to be more clear. I'm sorry. And I'll think about what you're saying. I will, I promise. Okay, that's fine. We'll talk about it when you get back, okay? Okay. I love you. I love you, too. I get this out of the car. Okay, I'm right behind you. I just have okay. um, one more thing I need to get. All right. Let me spaz out a little bit and so I can just let it all out and then I get to agree to this. I'm never going to agree to this, Dad. Never. Susan, listen. Wait, how can you how can you do this? Wait, what did she say to you? What did she do? No, no this was my whatever, decision. whatever she said to you, you know it's a lie, right? Because she's a liar and she's a cheater. Alright, you're not listening to fine, me. Fine, fine. Tell me that you can just go back with her and spend the rest of your life with her when you know, you know what she did to you. Sweetheart, sometimes people make mistakes and and sometimes we have to forgive them and move on i will never forgive her i will never right, forgive right, her but enough. you know why because you know what? i hate her that's i hate enough. her so hey, much hey. now it's time to listen okay i love beth very much and that doesn't just get erased because you're hurting now i've been angry for a long time she's a very long time and i'm still not through it but i couldn't just leave her and bail on her I couldn't leave town and just, just like that. You know I couldn't. Because of Lizzie. Well, Lizzie was a big reason. Yeah, I wanted to make sure Lizzie was better, and I wanted to make sure that Beth got through But she's fine now. Beth, I'm you're not, fine. I'm not finished. 
I also didn't want to leave Beth and the baby because I loved them. I still love them. Have you got any idea how long it took me to find that in someone again? Don't compare her to Mom. Honey, I'm not comparing her to Mom, but, but think about it. I mean, I was willing to spend the rest of my life with this lady. I married her. And she lied to you every day that you were married. Hey, you know what? This is not easy for me. I had to search very deep inside myself for forgiveness. And yeah, Beth made a mistake. She made a big mistake. A big mistake? A big mistake? She had sex with her ex-husband and I had his kid. She made you look like an idiot. And you are just going to go on and pretend it didn't happen. I almost lost my daughter to cancer. I'll be damned if I'm going to let you or anybody else take her away from me now. You even think about how this affects anybody but you? Yes. Yes, really? of course I have. Do you think about how it affects her? Think about the fact that she's just out of the hospital trying to get her strength back? Now you're ready to drag her out of town just to save oh, your marriage? I'm not talking about taking her away tomorrow. I don't give a damn if you wait till she can vote. It's not your decision to make. You know, I, I thought that we could talk about this. We all oh, we can talk about it. Talk about we can it. talk no, about it. We can talk about it all night if you want. Let's do that. Let's talk about everything else that you're going to be taking them away from, like their grandparents, my father, I'm not your going mother. To be cutting them off from Yes, anyone. you are. No. And in their no, daily lives, yes, you are. I'm Don't tell me to you're give not. Them a better life than what I had, a normal life. Right. Well, this is not the way to do it. Yes. Yes, it is. No, I it think isn't. that they need to see me in a healthy relationship oh, right. with about someone you. who would who would care for me and support me. No, it's not. Somebody that's going to be there for you. Like Jim. Jim's gonna do it, isn't he? Yeah. Jim's our guy. Jim will be there for you. Yeah. He can do this. Well, let me ask you, what if, what, if, what if Jim really hasn't forgiven you? What if he wakes up one morning and he decides, you know what? Damn it! I don't forgive her and I resent this baby. Stop it. Maybe I should Stop. walk out on her again at a moment's notice. Where will she be then? You know what? I'm not gonna apologize for trying to fix things with Jim. He loves me. He loves these children. He loves you today. And that's enough, isn't it? He loves me. Uh -huh. I know what this is about. God. It's about trying to get you to be realistic. No, no, it's not. It's about the fact that Jim came back to me and Harley left you behind. This has got nothing to do with Harley. Oh, yes, it does. It always has something to do with Harley. You're upset. You're upset that Jim is coming back to me and you and Harley right. can't make it work. Right. Okay, well, whatever you need to tell yourself about. You, you, you want me to take you and Jim seriously? Is yes. that what you want? Yes, okay, well, then you damn well better start taking me seriously. Because this has nothing to do with jealousy. This has to do with trying to be a good parent. And being a good parent means doing what's best for your children. Right. What's best for our children is keeping them here. They need a real family. Their real family is here. You know what I'm I am their about. real family. Your mother, my father, oh, that's your who your real father. family is. Yes, yes, oh, yes. They need to be away from the Spalding influence. What the hell does that mean? What does that mean? You know damn well that Alan tried to use Lizzie to manipulate us. And you know what he did last night? You know what he did last night? He tried to bribe Jim to get him to leave town. Oh, that's my father. That's no, my father. no, it's a mentality. It is the Spalding way or no way. Well, you know what? In this case, you're right. Because I'm not giving up my children. You already have. I have full custody. Oh, no, you don't. Yes. No, you don't. Not of this child, you don't. And you better believe me, I will drag you through hell before I let you take my children. You know I'm right. Beth is no good. Susan, Susie, Susie, listen. I know that this is not easy on you right now, and I know it's going to take a long time for you to probably understand this. I but, don't understand, Dad. Well, then, honey, I don't you're gonna, understand. You're going to have to try, okay? Just try and hear what I'm saying. Try and remember what it felt like. It was all a lie. No, it wasn't a lie, Susie. And if you let spite wipe out all the feelings that you had, then you're going to be the one losing out. I'll take my chances. Thank you. Susie, listen to me. We are going to put this family back together. We are. And it's going to be a good thing, and in time, you're going to see that. Beth is going to be part of our lives, honey. No. Beth will never be a part of my life. Susan, don't make this any harder than it is. I cannot believe...
believe you're doing this? I cannot believe you. Dad. God, you used to be my hero. And now... I don't know who you are anymore. Princess without a scepter, you know. Princess. <laughs> <laughs> it sounded like the engine stopped. It did. Why is something wrong? No, well, if you could, if you could stop pummeling at me for one second, you'll find out actually it's something very good. On, Nothing. I was just thinking that maybe I forgot something. Did you? Nope. Would you? Okay. I didn't. All right. Well, let's get going. Don't okay. be late. I'll be right there. Okay. Call? It was the press. 
They wanted to know all kinds of details about the royal honeymoon, but I don't know why they wanted to talk to me. Well, you're Cassie's good friend. You probably think you have the inside scoop. Yeah, I guess so. My head is spinning from all those questions. <laughs> yes, I know the press can be insatiable, but you just kept it to happy news, right? Cassie's problem didn't slip out, did it? Oh, oh, no, of course not. I would never tell the press about that. No, of course you wouldn't. Of course you wouldn't. I just... I guess I've become overly protective, a uh, concern that some others may let it slip. Others? Who else knows? Well, the doctor that treated Cassie, the specialist oh, doctor. Oh, right. Right. His name slipped my mind, but you no, know, I really need to speak to him. I just want to double check and make sure he keeps quiet about this. I'm sure he knows that. Well, of course, I know he does, but I just want to make sure. Do you know his name? You don't? Well, of course I do. I just can't remember. His doctor that... Funny. It slipped your mind. Yes. But I would like to take care of this today, so you just tell me his name. And you I never knew it, did you? What? You're just trying to pump me for information. I can tell. Oh, Jenny, don't. No, I... don't. No. You've tried to hurt Cassie before, and I think you're trying to do it again. Well, I'm not going to let you. is the casual picnic you told me about on the boat right over Did I say casual? Yes, you said casual. Well, then I got it wrong, because the casual implies with little or no forethought, and that will never be the case with you. Because I'll always be thinking of ways to make you happy, and ways to show you how much I love you. As long as I get to show you how much I love you. been Guiding Light.